Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So today's video, man, I had to take yesterday off, had a bunch of stuff going on, but there's been a bunch of news coming out. So I got to let you guys know what the business is. But this is on friggin Adrian Broner. And when I seen this, I'm looking like. This is kind of interesting right here. I'm not really sure why the hell they would make this fight on the homies' behalf, but it looks like Adrian Broner versus Lee Selby is in negotiations for the fall. And this is coming out in BoxingNews24.com where it states, Adrian Broner versus Lee Selby in negotiations for the fall. And in this article, it goes on to state, Adrian Broner and Lee Selby are in negotiations for a fight in the fall at an undetermined weight on premier boxing champions in the fall, according to Mike Copinger. Quote, now with this news coming out right here, dude, I actually thought that this was a pretty weird ass fight, dude. Just for the simple fact is you got to do like Lee Selby normally fights at that friggin featherweight division, man. He usually fights at friggin 125, 126. And I'm like, why the hell? Would he be fighting a dude like Adrian Broner? Because Adrian Broner, he fights at that welterweight division. His last fight was at 147 when he fought friggin' Manny Pacquiao. And he normally does not drop below 140. But Lee Selby did have his last fight at 135 against Omar Douglas, which he really did not look that good. He was able to win a friggin' unanimous decision in that damn fight. But at the same time, he definitely did not look that good. And looking at that damn fight when he fought Omar Douglas, it definitely seem like if he would have fought any of the top tier dudes in that damn 135 pound division he would have probably got his ass friggin' smoked dude just for the simple fact is you got to do like lee selby even at his natural weight class at 126 the dude did not have no friggin' power the dude got like 27 wins and nine knockouts so you got 27 wins nine knockouts dude you are not carrying any kind of power like that man the dude is definitely tough he only has two losses and he hasn't been stopped in any of his losses his last loss that he had was when he fought up against josh warrington for that damn ibf featherweight title and personally he did good in the fight. He was very durable in the fight. You got a dude like Josh Warrington, who was a very, very rough and rugged type of fighter. Dude was friggin' head bunning and coming in with his head, friggin' cutting friggin' Lee Selby ass up with his friggin' head. I'm looking like, damn, but Lee Selby is a tough dude. He is a very durable dude. But my problem with him going to that damn welterweight division to fight a dude like Adrian Broner, you got a dude like Adrian Broner, who is definitely going to be hitting way harder than anybody that friggin' and Lee Selby has ever fought and with him not being stopped in any of his fights you got to take into consideration that he's only fought in those lower weight classes so personally I could actually see Adrian Broner stopping this damn dude if they end up fighting man because I do not see this fight taking place anywhere below 140 which Adrian Broner he has fight at 140 when he did fight up against friggin Mikey Garcia that was the last fight he did have at 140 so if they do end up fighting I do not see this fight being below that damn 140 pound weight class now if this fight gonna take place we are not really sure. It's not like anything has been finalized. But if Adrian Broner is looking for a fight like this, I definitely do not blame Adrian Broner for taking this fight. Just for the simple fact is you got to do like Adrian Broner, who literally fights anybody that they put in friggin' front of them, dude. They do not friggin' that dude does not duck any damn smoke with anybody. Anybody they put in front of that dude, he is definitely bound to fight him. And that dude doesn't duck smoke from any friggin' fighter, dude. So with him taking a fight like a Lee Selby, man, he is definitely in need for a friggin' win. Just for the simple fact is you got a dude like Adrian Broner who hasn't won a fight since friggin when the friggin last time then 2016 or something like that 2017 i think his last fight was against adrian granados that he actually won and that fight was by split decision a lot of people thought he lost that fight a lot of people thought he was catered to win just for the simple fact is it was in his hometown of cincinnati so with it being that long since that dude has won a fight he is definitely in need for a friggin win because he has 
Two losses against Manny Pacquiao and Michael Garcia. He has that draw against Jesse Vargas, a fight where I personally thought he friggin' lost. So with him taking a fight with Lee Selby, this is definitely a fight where I could see him stopping a dude like Lee Selby and definitely putting him back in that damn win column. But only time to tell if this fight is really going to happen. Like I said, nothing has actually been finalized as of yet, but we will probably be finding out in the next few weeks on if this fight is going to take place later on this fall. And if it does take place, most likely it will be taking place in September. Just for the simple fact is Adrian Broner did post on either his Twitter or his Instagram that he is going to be effing somebody up in September. So if this fight takes place, most likely it will be in in September because he is pretty much posting that out of his own friggin' mouth all right you guys so I hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so I hope you like the video holla at your boy I swear, I swear. Just wait up